Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome to our last lesson for Chapter 11. Lesson 11-4, Join and Separate Angles. Our essential question is how can you find the measure of an angle separated into parts? That's our essential question. Please pause the video and write this down in your notes. So remember how our essential question is how we find the measure of an angle that's separated into parts. So in this example right here, I am looking for the measure of angle JKL. JKL. Now the only clues that I have to measure this if I did not own a protractor would be that I would have to use the clues that are provided for me. So first of all, I know that this is greater than 90 degrees because it's an obtuse angle. I know that it's greater than a right angle. So I know my answer needs to be greater than 90 degrees. So let's look at the clues that we have. This angle right here, as you can see with this ray, along with JK ray, equals 90 degrees. And you can tell because it looks just like a right angle. So how I would solve this would be I would say 90 degrees plus this little small acute angle right here tells me that it's 10 degrees. Assuming that they've already measured it with the protractor for me, I'm going to trust that it's already 10 degrees. So what would be the measurement of angle JKL will be 90 plus 10. That would be my formula to find it. And if I added those up, this angle would equal 100 degrees. So the measure of angle JKL is 100 degrees. Now this example says find in to the total measure of angle PQT by using the information that I already have. So far, I've been told that this acute angle is 43 degrees and this acute angle is 37 degrees. The combination of this angle and this angle will give me the total for angle PQT. So I'm going to do my math and I'm going to add 43 plus 37 degrees and it will give me, if I add and regroup, 80 degrees. Now I know 80 degrees is an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. Does that answer make sense? Well, let's look. I can see that this is less than a right angle because a right angle would be going straight up and straight across. So you can see it is less than 90 degrees, so this answer makes total sense. Let's try another. Now it's going to be your turn to try one on your own. I want you to find the measurement of angle EGJ. Angle EGJ. So I want you to ask yourself, is this acute, obtuse, or right? Once you find if it's acute, obtuse, or right, I want you to write that down, and then I want you to tell me what the degrees would be because we don't have a protractor with us right now, using the clues that you have provided for you. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, for this you should have said it's obtuse. Just by looking at this angle, I know it's obtuse because it's greater than a right angle. But how much does it equal? Well, the clues that I have provided for me is 35 degrees and 70 degrees. So I want to add those two degrees up, and I see that it equals a total of 105 degrees. It is an obtuse angle because that's greater than 90 degrees. So here's a hot question for us. The question asks, what is the measure of angle QRT? So here's my QRT. Now, first of all, ask yourself, what kind of angle does QRT look like? What do you think? Is it acute, obtuse, or right? When you find that out, eliminate the choices that that would definitely not match. Then we have to figure out how are we going to find that missing value? Well, I want you to try on your own first what you think it is, and then I'm going to model for you how you can find it out. Because this is a higher order thinking question, I want you to try it on your own first. Go ahead and pause the video and work this one out. 
Okay, if you pause the video, you should have tried to work this out. And if you look at your choices, you should see that one of them looks very obvious by using process of elimination. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can actually do it. Let's look. Do you see my angle DRQ? What kind of angle is DRQ? If you are thinking straight angle, you're right. And we've learned in class that a straight angle is 180 degrees. So my job is to figure out this missing amount that all three of these must add up to equal a total of 180 degrees. Well, so far I have 75 degrees and 85 degrees. Well, what if I were to subtract those two? If I subtract those two from 180, that'll give me the value of that missing angle. So let's first of all find out what is 75 plus 85. So I'm going to do the math right over here in the corner. And if you want to do this along with me on your notes, if you didn't do it this way, go ahead and do it right now. Because we will have a test, sim test question similar to this on our test this week. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to add up 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1, drop the 0. 1 plus 7 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So, so far, this equals a total of 160 degrees. So, if you think about it, 180 minus 160 is going to equal 20 degrees. So, if you picked A, 20, you can see why because 180 minus 160 equals 20 degrees. Do you see how we found that unknown number? You take the value of what you know, subtract what you have, and that will give you the extra angle that you're looking for. Okay friends, so here are our homework questions. There are three questions. The first one says, which equation can you use to find the measurement of angle x, z, w. So you need to look for x, z, w. Which one of these equations would you use to figure out that angle measurement? Would it be 71 degrees minus 42 degrees? Would it be 71 degrees plus 42 degrees? 71 degrees times 42 degrees? Or 180 degrees minus 113 degrees? Next, question number two says, if the measure of angle ABD is 75 degrees, so if this angle right here is 75 degrees total, then what is the value of angle CBD? What is this missing value right here? If we know that this total amount is 75 degrees, and we already have 35 degrees to show us, what would be my unknown value for that angle there? Go ahead and work that one out as well. And number three says this. Stephanie, Kay, and Shane each ate an equal size piece of pizza. The measure of the angle of each piece was 45 degrees. When, they, when the pizzas were together, what is the measure of the angle they formed? So remember, they each ate an equal size piece of pizza, and the measure of each piece was 45 degrees. Remember to ask yourself how many people are eating and then when you find out if they stuck all their pieces of pizza together, what would be the angle that they formed? And your choice would be A, 90 degrees, B, 135 degrees, C, 180 degrees, or D, 225 degrees. Go ahead and assess yourself when you're finished with your homework questions. Write down in the corner of your notes, one, if you feel like you're a novice, two, apprentice, three, a practitioner, or four, the expert. Here are your questions again, just so that way you can look over them and check yourself. And we'll discuss them tomorrow and do some activities in class. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.